love it or that hate it. Like, it's not, like, in between. Um, so, like, you talk to people and, like, they do their places as a child and they're like, yeah, like, I had a great experience and loved it and, like, want to continue it. And then others are like, no, nope, hate it. Like, never going to play it. Like, not my thing. Um, I got my information from multiple sources online from different soccer websites and history of soccer. Um, the growing popularity of soccer, not only in the U.S., but also around the world, is leading to a growing excitement for the community sport. Um, in this presentation, I'll cover <coughs> the background of soccer and like the growth of it through the U.S. Um, in the article, History of Soccer, it states that soccer has been around in the U.S. since 1827, but up until was established in 1904, soccer never really had like legit rules. Like, um, some played different, um, some played it like volleyball with like quarters like that, some played with like 90 or 29 players. Um, and then FIFA was established in 1904, and then the United States Football Association was accepted by FIFA. Um, and it was kind of more to like and the struggle between like amateur soccer and professional soccer. Um, and then in 19, the 1920s are popularly known as the golden era in the history of American soccer. Um, it's kind of when it like peaked and it really became like known for a little while when people started enjoying it. And then um, in the 1930, or in 1930, the US participated in the first World Cup. Um, and up until like, there was just like a men's team, there's no women's team. Um, the 19, in 1950s, the US team returned to the World Cup. Um, and then the 1970s, uh, the youth really like flocked to soccer and it was growing. And then the 1980s was a downfall for it and it kind of was going out and not many people were in it anymore. And then the United States Soccer League ended and the, um, the 1994 World Cup is considered the biggest monument in the history of American soccer. And then in 2001, the Women's Association was um, <coughs> launched and it would change the, um, like the view for women and how they play. The um, association established itself as the leading women's league in the world of women's soccer. And um, I don't know if anyone keeps up with the Women's World Cup, but they've done like really well. They continue to like grow, and they're like one of the um, most watched um, teams in the U.S. Um, and then, even with all the stuff that happened with Hope Solo and all that, they still bring in more <coughs> they um, bring in more views than the men's team also, but they're um, not recognized for that. Um, and then according to the business outsider, women get paid based, get a base salary and men get supplemented bonuses for the winning, like winning games. And this is just a chart of like how, like most, they play like 20 games in like their season is usually what it is. And men still get paid more if they lose all their games than women if they lose all their games. Um, even if women win half their games. has gone through changes since it was introduced into the world. The soccer world is growing um, and it's continuing to get bigger and more popular. Um, soccer is a sport that is demanding more love from people and is climbing the ranks of the most popular sport in the U.S. 